Hey guys, today I'm doing a mod showcase for a mod that I've done a mod showcase in the past, but it has been updated. This is the Gupper mod, and the Gupper mod has got a whole new texture rehaul, and we've got a few new items in it as well. And I'm really excited to do this mod showcase because KWPU is a really great designer and mod author, and I wanted to do this review for him as well. So, what has changed in this? Well, the big change has been the textures in the back. You can see that the blocks have slightly changed. If you didn't know this mod already, it works around an ore called Gobber. And you have this Gobber here in the overworld. This Gobber is got from the nether and this Gobber is got from the end. And then you have this lucky block Gobber and then these are some blocks that you can make also. In addition to that, you have these glass blocks that can be made out of the Gobber as well. And these are luminous and they have varying different types of blast protection as well. So, what does this mod get you and give you and what's so great about this mod? Well, to start with, it does give you really nice armor. You've got four tiers of armor here. Well, actually, there's three in the background and I've got one in my inventory here, which I'm going to leave till the last. Over here, we've got gobber armor. Over here, we've got nether gobber armor. And then we have got end gobber armor. So what's so good about these, you might ask? Well, they are much stronger than diamond. Diamond helmet has three armor and two armor toughness. This has got 2.5 armor toughness and six armor. So it is twice as strong as diamond. And you might be thinking, wow, that's way too OP. I mean, like twice as strong as diamond. Yeah, it is. However, not very cheap to make. Each of these requires a, an emerald. Each of the nether armor requires one nether star. And each of the end armor requires two nether stars. Or at least there thereabouts. With two nether stars you will get eight of the gobber ringlets. And eight will make you one chest plate. And you would need six of those ringlets for the leggings etc etc. Four of the boots. So yeah maybe a little bit less than two nether stars but pretty close. But yeah it is OP but you know what. If it's really hard to get, then why not be OP? And then we have the dragon armor. And this armor is a new addition. Not only is it much stronger. So 8 armor on the helmet, 13 on the chest, 11 on the leggings, and 8 on the boots. I mean, like, you can see my hearts are starting to grow there because this armor is phenomenally OP. However, it's not very cheap. Dragon armor requires either a dragon elytra or a dragon star. With a dragon elytra, you will need one elytra and four dragon eggs just to make one dragon elytra. And you will need that for the chest plate. For the dragon star, you will need one nether star with four dragon eggs. And you'll need three of those. Enjoy killing the ender dragon a number of times. Each of these armors has got some other effects as well. So for example, this dragon armor has got Full creative flight everywhere and negative effect protection. Provides all the benefits of the end armor. End armor also has... When you have the full set, you've got negative effect protection. On top of that, you've got rapid auto feeding with saturation, water breathing and absorption hearts. Chest plate gives you fire protection and knockback resistance. Leggings gives you conduit power in water and no fall damage. And boots gives you dolphins, grace and water. When you go down to the gobber, full suit protection gives you poison protection. And the helmet gives you slow auto feeding and water breathing. Chest plate gives you no added benefit. Leggings, no fall damage. And with boots, you get no added effect. So that is the armor. These are the tools that you get from it. So obviously you got some swords, you have some bows, you have some extra tools for mining, etc. And you have another sword over here. The swords do vary in different amounts again. Again, you've got gobber swords here. Here's an end sword and here is a nether bow. And over here then you have a paxel. If you didn't know what a paxel is, paxel will pickaxe, shovel and use it as an axe as well. So I can take some sand up with it. Easy peasy. I can also do as if it's a pickaxe, easy peasy, and I can also do it as an axe. Uh, so paxels are really handy, and the new textures look really cool, I have to say, at KWP. Uh, this sword here is ridiculously cool, because this has got an arrow that it shoots out. As you can see there on my item bar, it does have a time down, so it's not like instant spam. I have to wait for the time down, but then I can shoot it again. And it shoots a high velocity arrow from 
the sword. Also, obviously, as a sword, it's pretty cool as well. So, that's the armor, that's the tools, they're the weapons. What else does this mod have? Well, it has these rings, and these rings are pretty cool. This is what I love most about this mod. So, for example, you have a, an ender chest ring here, which allows you to access your ender chest. So I've got an ender chest in the ender chest. If I right click on the ender chest, you can see I have an ender chest. If I put this stuff in here, and then with the ring, I can access all of that. That's really handy. Over here, I have a ring of the void. This will take me to the end. I right click, and I've just spawned in the void. And if I shift right click, it brings me back to my spawn point on the overworld. I have another ring here, which is the ring of dismissal. And I've also got, and let me get rid of this here. I've also got a sheep egg here. Um, please do not report me to PETA for this, but this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> when you're holding the ring, it just shoots off. Okay, let me do another demonstration of that. So when you have the ring in your hand, only in your hand, <laughs> it dismisses any mobs around you. So when I hold the ring, <laughs> it just all fly away. <laughs> yes. uh, it's not even the baby ones. No, don't die. Don't die. The next ring over here is the ring of the phoenix. And this is a pretty cool ring because it doesn't even have to be holding. It just needs to be in your inventory. And you've got complete fire resistance with this. So if you've got an absolute fear of the nether like I do, then that's a great ring to have. The next ring I want to show you is the lumberjack. And I have set up some trees over here. And this works in, I think it's a 7x11x7, by 11 by 7, but I could be wrong. It's an 11 by 40 by 11 Okay, I was definitely wrong. Yeah, that just happened. The next ring is the Ring of the Miner. And again, like the Lumberjack ring, this is awesome. Now, it only works on vanilla blocks. And it doesn't do ores. And right click. And it leaves the blocks. Or I can just right click and automatically it will disappear the box. Which is very handy. This is the ring of the attraction. I've already got this in my inventory and you can see that it's already been picking up items. This works with an, an up to 14 block range. So this will pick up any items in a 14 block range around you so that you don't have to run around and pick them up. Really cool. So on top of that, we have these staffs. This, for example, is the staff of the sniper. Very like the sword over here. It shoots an arrow. It has a cooldown like the sword as well. This is the staff of ensnarement. And this is really handy. Let me find a sheep. We need to right or left click on a sheep. And it picks it up. So very handy if you want to bring mobs back to your base. And... There we go. The next staff is a really handy one as well. And this is the Staff of the Stars. Just places torches like that. The next one here is the Staff of the Harvest. This will harvest crops around you in a radius of 12 by 12. It will only harvest mature crops. This is the Ring of the Farmer. This will place some nice little patches of grass around the place. Oh, there we go. There we go. Grass and flowers. Done. And uh, these ones have disappeared from here. I don't know why. This one is a staff of nature. Converts saplings between types. So this is, I really like this one. So if you want to get a specific type of tree with this staff, you can cycle between the different vanilla trees. Really handy staff. And the last one is one of my favorites. And this is the staff of clearing. And with the Ring of the Miner, or with the Ring of Attraction, that's an absolutely excellent one. Over here as well, we have some beacons. Each of these beacons does something different. As you can see, this one is with Gobber, this is with en Nether Gobber, and this is with End Gobber. So what these do is, these will, this one here has some slight healing. Also, they will, this one here will, give, give you, will kill mobs from a certain distance away. Up to 32 blocks, depending on which one of these. This one does here up to 32 blocks. This one does a 24 block. So there's protection and healing built into these. Very handy for your base, especially if you don't want things spawning around you. So if I get a... Let's get a zombie here. If I put a zombie here, he's going to despawn straight away. Pop. Gone. However, out here, we're definitely more than 32 blocks away, and he's fine. Now, he will die from the sun, obviously. And if I get within the 32 block radius of here... Yeah, poop disappears. So really handy for your base, really nice design as well, and the fire effect is normal. That comes with them once you create it. 
So that is the Goblin mod from KW Pew. It is on the CurseForge website. I would love if you went to check it out, guys. The link, as always, will be in the description of this video. And I just want to give a big shout out to KW Pew for making this mod and for improving it. The first version of this uh, was awesome. It really was. However, maybe a few of the items were a little bit too OP. Now there's been a little bit of balance brought back into them, and I have to say that I really do love the Gover mod. It is one of my favourite mods for 1.15.2, and I suggest that you should go check it out. Anyway, guys, just want to say thank you very much for watching this video, and I shall see you soon in the next one.